Hey everyone, it's Maka from Inside Gaming with Seagate. Today we're going to cover the differences between Seagate's Fire Cuda 510 and the new Gen 4 Fire Cuda 520. Let's get inside. In a previous episode, we explained the new Gen 4 standard for PCIe devices. Among all peripheral components connected to your motherboard, it's your SSDs that stand to gain the most improvement from Gen 4 speeds. So today we'll compare the two internal SSDs that Seagate has designed for gamers. The Fire Cuda 510, which is a Gen 3 SSD, and the Fire Cuda 520, which utilizes the new Gen 4 standard. Both look the same, and depending on your motherboard, may even perform the same. So let's figure out what the differences are and help you pick the right one for you. Both SSDs have the same form factor, utilizing the M.2 NVMe protocol, and are both four-lane PCIe SSDs. Both have capacity size options of 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, and two terabytes, and are both backed by Seagate's five-year warranty. The major difference? their speeds. The Fire Cuda 520 can perform up to 45% faster than the Fire Cuda 510. The Fire Cuda 520 has max sequential read speeds of up to 5,000 megabytes per second, compared to the Fire Cuda 510 at 3450 megabytes per second. The Fire Cuda 520 has max sequential write speeds of 4,400 megabytes per second, versus the Fire Cuda 510 at 3,200 megabytes per second. And note that your PCIe Gen 3 motherboard can easily read and write to the Gen 4 Fire Cuda 520 SSD. You'll just be limited to the max speeds of your Gen 3 motherboard. Similarly, your Gen 3 Fire Cuda 510 SSD can perform just fine on a Gen 4 motherboard. But the motherboard won't improve the SSD's performance, and its speeds will be limited to its own PCIe Gen 3 specs. So, which SSD is best for you? If you're wanting to upgrade your gaming rig that you've had for a while with a new SSD, chances are that the motherboard is still a PCIe Gen 3 device. This means that buying a PCIe Gen 4 Fire Cuda 520 will not offer you a performance increase over a Fire Cuda 510. That being said, if you're planning on a rebuild down the line, there's no harm in putting the Fire Cuda 520 in a Gen 3 slot for now, and then carrying that SSD forward when you go to rebuild. However, if you're building a new machine on a Gen 4 motherboard, you'll definitely want to get a Gen 4 SSD to maximize the performance. Remember, if you put a Gen 3 SSD into a Gen 4 motherboard alongside all of your other Gen 4 components, you'll still be limited by that Gen 3 speed. So whether you're just gaming or putting a little bit of extra stress on your machine by streaming or capturing, you'll want to make sure that your storage device isn't the source of any of your performance bottlenecks. That's it for today. And if you've been upping your research intake over the last couple of months, let us know some of your topic ideas down below. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep gaming. Thanks for watching.